Hello and welcome. My name is Vukile. Uh, welcome to this tutorial uh, where we are uh, constructing uh, the five shapes of the major pentatonic scale uh, by using octaves and unisons. Okay, so there are two methods that you can you can use here. Uh, the method number one, I'm going to show you. Let me just describe method number one. Method number one, we we're going to 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 use unisons on all strings, and then we use an unison on the sorry an octave on the we take an octave on the third string to the first string. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to choose a key. So let's choose a key such that we can op we can we can operate on the on the on the fretboard without running out of frets. So let's choose a key, the home base being here, G for example. And so if I write, if I put the all the notes for the major scale, the G major scale, I'm gonna get seventh here. Uh, do, di, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, T. Okay, so th th that's that's my my major scale here, the G major scale. Now, all we want to do here, remember the objective, uh, is to construct the G major pentatonic scale. G major pentatonic scale. Okay, um, to construct the G major pentatonic scale, we need to remove two notes from the major scale. And the two notes are the seventh and the fourth. So the seventh here is F sharp. We remove F sharp, F sharp, and F sharp. And then we remove the fourth. One, two, three, four, which is C. Remove C there. So we remain with this major pentatonic scale sharp, G major pentatonic. Now let's apply the rules for this. So we take unisons on all the strings. The strings number one, two, three, four, and five. And then we come back and take a, a, an octave from string number three to string number one. Okay. So here we go. Let's let's take octaves. One, two, so let's take unisons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the unison of the D, one, two, three, four, five. Of the A, one, two, three, four, five, six. E, one, two, three, four, five, six. And for B, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we we come to to complete it here. We have to come on to this third string, and we take a an octave of this here b the note which is in front or on the front line so it's gonna be here b so this is our shape we can actually put our shape here like this and that's exactly our shape there so th this is our second shape of the major pentatonic scale now for us to go to the third pentatonic shape, we do the same. Let's take an unison. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put it there. One, two, three, four, five. Put it there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we come down to the third string here. We're gonna take a um, an octave from here. This is the diagonal octave. It's gonna be here, D. Okay. So this is the shape. Now, if you wanna see it on the on the on this, it's it's this one. It looks like a K. You know. This is our major pen G major pentatonic scale third position. Okay. Now to go to the fourth position, we do the same thing. We take a unison of our B here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a unison for the G one, two, three, four, five. It comes here. Take a unison here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do take a unison. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
the tegenison of the E. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we come back to the third string, which is E here. And the, we take an octave. So it gives us that. Okay. So this is the shape, the fourth shape of the major pentatonic scale. Uh, which gives you this shape here. The fourth shape. Okay. Um, on a separate string. So on a separate fretboard. Now we go to the fifth shape. Uh, we take, so we take a unison of the D here on the first string, one, two, three, four, five, six, and for the second, the A, one, two, three, four, five, we put it here, for the uh, E, one, two, three, four, five, six, and for the B, one, two, three, four, five, six, and for the G, one, two, three, four, five, six, put it here. And then we take a unison of G here. Um, sorry, the octave. No, not the unison, the octave. We take the octave. The, the other thing you can actually do for the for this string, because you know these strings have the same note, you just put it there. Just directly under it, because you know that they, they have the same note. On every... Because this is an E string and an E string. So you can do that. Okay. So here is the shape, and, and the shape is here, the fifth shape of the of the major pentatonic scale. Now the other thing you can, if if you if you take the next shape, it will it will look like this. It will look like this. So let's let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's actually here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So A and A. So here we go. That that's the shape there of the the, the of, it's now we are now on a the, this shape here is an octave of this one here. Because we are repeating notes here. G G oh, all notes are octaves. Unlike in these other places here, we have some octaves, some are unisons. So in this one, we actually have all of them are octaves. So all all of the all these notes, okay, are octaves. So he, here here we go. We we now have the thing here because you have if you, you want to prove that the front the back plane here. Is an octave of this octave. That's A is an octave here, E is an octave here, B is an octave here, G an octave here, and the front line is the same. A we have A E B G D and A, which are octaves of this one here. So we are happy. Um, so this this is the first method. The second method. The second method. Let's let's do for the next step. We do the second method. The second method is you take octaves. So you start from the thicker string. You take an octave from here. It is there. You take an octave for D. It's right there. Take an, an octave for G. You remember here from this here, you have to count. You jump one string and count one, two, three, four. You come here. And the same applies to this one. So one, two, three, four. And 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 you have to take uh, unisons for these two remaining strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's pretty. It, 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 so so you got you get this one here, the next pentatonic scale, which is this second the second shape. Okay. So thank you very much. Th these are the two methods you can use. The, the other methods that you can use, of course, but th these are the, the two methods that you, you can use just for you to train yourself to apply unisons and octaves on the fretboard. And this will actually help you to figure out notes on the fretboard very fast. Uh, and if you train your fingers to play unisons and octaves, it's very, it's very, it's going to be very simple for you to quickly go to where you want to go to. 
without looking at the fretboard. So these, these are some of the methods that are used to give some eyes to your uh, fingers. You, some memory, you, you know, it's, the, the, some people call it finger memory. So when you practice these ones, it's not a waste of time. It's actually a very valuable time. I'm not doing any theory here. I'm just counting one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all you need to know. You, you don't need to know a lot of things. So after doing that for maybe three, four times, your fingers gain some, you know, you know, finger stamina, dexterity, you know, eyes, memory. You, you gain some memory there and you're able to play the, these shapes without, without problems or to pinpoint where the shape is once you select a key. Thank you very much for listening. My uh, name is Vukile. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.